Hey everyone, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a shop with me. So you guys are gonna come along with me. I went to Walmart, Target, Five Below, and TJ Maxx and I did a little bit of shopping. I'm, I've got some clips in here for you for the different things that I was looking at, for the things I ended up picking up. And at the end of this video, there will be a haul. So if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So first up, I just wanted to show you guys some of the new Bodycology items that my Walmart carries. Um, so they've got the sugar scrubs now, as well as the candles, which I will show you in just one second. But I'm really excited about these scrubs. Um, the texture looks very comparable to Tree Hut, which is definitely one of my favorite formulas. And aren't these candles absolutely adorable? Like just to complete the set, I think they're the cutest things. And so Find Your Happy Place also has a new scent. This is like the most tropical scent they could have put together. Um, it's coconut water and pineapple, so very much just like tropical beach vacation vibes, and I love it. And Tree Hut also has bath salts now, which is really, really cool. Um, my Walmart only had the watermelon scent, so I don't know if they have more scents available. I definitely will have to pick it up and test it out for you guys. Very, very excited. You know, I love my baths. And Dr. Teal's had some new stuff too. Um, I thought these sets were really, really cool. Really nice for if you got like a gift in mind, someone who really loves like aromatherapy. And we also got Body by TPH. Um, I have not tried anything from this brand, but I think the packaging is absolutely stunning. And Heritage by Mindy McKnight, this stuff is stunning as well. Definitely give me your thoughts down below on these two brands. Let me know if there's anything I should pick up to test out. I would definitely love to try some of these pieces. So my TJ Maxx doesn't tend to have the best selection, so I'm just kind of showing you guys a couple of cool things that I found, but in general it wasn't really anything too super exciting on this trip. Um, this Island Vanilla body scrub though, that was the thing I was the absolute most excited for. Um, I love the scent, I'm super excited to try out the formula of this. And also philosophy. My store tends to have a decent amount of philosophy, nothing crazy but I've never actually tried any of it. Um, they had the white pear, they had fresh cream and mint, and I wanna say they had like Paradise Girl too, but like the price is just always what's keeping me from testing it out. But my store did have a ton of perfumes, um, specifically like celebrity perfumes, but just perfumes in general. Um, and some really good prices here, especially, did you see that? That was $39 for Toy 2, which is not a bad price, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger on any of these because there were no testers, so I don't know what any of these smell like, and I didn't want to just buy it to have it. It's, I mean, even if it is only $15, I just, I have to know what it's gonna smell like. There were no scent notes on any of these. I had no clue what was going on. So my Five Below was a bit of a bust as well. They had a couple of these um, like dupe perfumes, but other than that, there really wasn't anything that interesting. Um, it was very, very picked over. Um, I've never really had much luck at my Five Below in general, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the perfumes they had, just in case you were interested in any of these items. So I saw that St. Ives has this new scent. Um, I love their formula, but I was not a fan of this one. Very much too like aromatherapy for me. Um, I also saw a bunch of salt air, but again, I wasn't a big fan of the scents that they had. And for that price, like I have to love it if I'm gonna try it out, they just weren't it for me. But I do love the Love, Beauty, and Planet, specifically that vanilla bean that smells amazing. The formula is really, really nice too. And the price isn't that bad. But this Quiet and Roar brand, I hadn't seen before. Um, the Awaken and the Energize smell amazing. The other ones are just okay, but those two were awesome. And there's also this Naturium brand. Um, it's kind of like a skincare for your body kind of a vibe. Um, if any of you guys have tried this brand out, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorites are. If there's one that you guys think I should test out, I would love to hear your thoughts. And then of course we have OGX, such a good brand. I love their coconut one. I haven't tried out any of the others. I will definitely, definitely have to test those out. And then there's also the Billy brand. 
First off, these shaving creams are so pretty, especially that purple sparkly cap, like I'm a sucker for sparkles, but also I've heard their razors are really, really good quality. Um, definitely something I will have to test out in the future. I'm just not in the market for a new razor at the moment. Um, but there's also the Chic Intuition. I've been seeing this one around for years and I've always been very curious. So if this is one you guys use, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm very curious to see what it's like and what you guys think it's like too. So I figure I'll go over what I got at Target first since that was at the top of the bag. But I did end up picking up the Quiet and Roar Awaken Salted Guava and Ylang body wash. This one just smelled the absolute best. I really liked the mango one too, but something about this one, it's just like a fruity, floral, but very like fresh and clean smelling. I just I thought this was really, really nice. Um, I'm super excited to test it out. Once I'm done filming, this will probably make its way right into the shower so I can test it out tonight, but it smells really good. Um, it's, I mean, looking at the consistent consistency isn't gonna tell me anything. But I'm very, very excited to test this out. I cannot wait. I will definitely let you guys know what I think about it. And maybe I'll pick up the orange one too, who knows? And so I also picked up the Billy Whipped Shave Cream and I had to get the sparkly purple one. I don't know that there was a difference between the two other than packaging. Um, they were the same price. They consistently, consistency looked the same. They smelled the same which is very, very faint shaving cream smell, nothing fancy, but I'm very excited to try this out. Um, I did finally try out the Tree Hut, so now I've got a new brand to test out the formula of, because I would love to expand like past the EOS, because I know there's obviously other brands out there, and so I figured I would give this one a go. All right, so up next is TJ Maxx. So I picked up the Island Vanilla Body Scrub, um, I didn't even open this in store. Okay, good, it's sealed. I totally should have checked that there because that's another problem with TJ Maxx is people like rip these open all the time. But I'm so excited. This, again, I'm just gonna say it about everything. This is probably going straight in the shower once I am done filming so I can test it out. I'm very curious to see like the texture on this. Let's see if I can get it open for you guys. Oh, okay, let's see. It's very, very dark. Um, I mean, it smells like island vanilla. That is awesome. But it looks, it looks interesting. I wonder if it's supposed to be that dark or if it's just like really, really old. Um, but the beads look fairly fine. So I don't think it's gonna be super abrasive. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to try this out. I will definitely let you guys know what I think. The other item I got at TJ Maxx was a dress. I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, it's a fairly long one, <laughs> but I'll insert a clip of me trying it on so you guys can see it like on me. But I've been in the market for a longer dress for a long time. I'm 5'2", so <laughs> if I get a dress that's like slightly below my knees, I look really, really short and really, really little and like a little girl playing in her mom's clothes. So it's definitely a tricky situation for me to figure out, but I think this one with like the flowiness and like it's got really pretty like poofy sleeves to it, I think it should be okay. So last up, I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I got at Walmart. So I love shopping Walmart clearances, as I'd imagine many of you do. You can find some really nice stuff for very, very inexpensive. And right up at the checkout, they had purses for a dollar. So normally this would have been 25 bucks. And like this is, I don't know if you guys can tell because my lighting is garbage, but it's a stunning like deep red with a hint of like, it's an orangey red, but perfect for the fall time first off. But I just thought it was gorgeous. And for a dollar, like I'm gonna use the heck out of this thing for a dollar. And it's crossbody, which is my favorite style. I'm not like a big, like just a simple purse person. I like either a crossbody, so my hands are free, or a backpack, so my hands are free. I just definitely prefer that. But yeah, super awesome find for a dollar. I thought that was crazy. And then I also picked up, this is my favorite sock brand, it's Mucklux. 
Um, I get them at Walmart. From what I understand, they're discontinuing this brand at Walmart, so I had stocked up what I could find. And again, these were for a dollar, so two pairs of socks for a dollar. And they're like this, almost like a chenille fabric. They're so, so soft, like cushiony soft. I'm so excited. But I've worn through some of my other pairs, so to stock up for this upcoming winter, I was very, very excited. So like I mentioned during the shop with me portion, I did end up picking up the Peach Sunrise Body Scrub. Um, let's see, ooh, that looks like a really nice texture. I can't believe I didn't even open this in the store, but it looks very comparable to Tree Hut. Um, I'm very excited about that. Obviously it is a much smaller tub than Tree Hut. It's almost half the size, but I'm very excited to test it out to see how it is see if it's worth it. Um, it's definitely a scent that I love, so I was excited to get the scrub. And speaking of scrubs, I made my way over to the clearance section, which was separate from like the clothing clearance, but I got the Soap and Glory Call of Fruity Body Scrub. And again, I didn't even open this one up, but it was down to $3, so that's wild. I'm wondering if maybe this like spilled or something, because there's no way that's full but it's just a nice, ooh, wait. It's a very, I mean, it's a very fruity scent. I don't know if it's supposed to be like citrus. Scented with tropical fruits and hibiscus. So I think that's nice. Um, the scrub texture looks interesting. Um, it's very like gelatinous with little like microbeads in it, but I would show it to you guys, but I will spill it if I do that. But I'm very interested to try this out. Like I said, I've always been interested in Soap and Glory, so to get it for $3, that was really exciting. And so the last two items I picked up, um, I got these Kiss Love Shack Fantasy Impress Nails. This is like my brand of fake nail because they're just the press-ons and they're super, super easy. But this set that I picked up, I don't know if I can like show you guys better but they're like this really, really pretty white with blue floral. And then like those ones have little gems on them. But like the French tips, they're stunning. These are so, so pretty, but I'm super excited to break these out. Maybe I'll like break these out for my birthday. I think that would be really fun. Um, that is coming up next month. It's not for a while, but I think that would be really, really fun for that. And I always go for the short size because I need to be able to like function and go to work. If I had anything longer, I wouldn't be able to do anything. And so I also finally picked up, oh, I had one more item. So no, not my last item, but I also finally picked up the Sweet Love Body Ecology Fragrance Mist. This is one I've been eyeing for the longest time. And it just, it smells sweet and flowery. It's got notes of sweet florals and whipped cream. I'm very, very excited to finally have this. Um, it's super pretty and pink and girly, and I think it's going to be really fun to play with. So the last item that I picked up is one that I've been like, this is why I went to Walmart in the first place was to get this, but it's the Find Your Happy Place After, After the Rain scent. And it's got notes of white birch and jasmine. And I just picked up the, um, the body lotion pretty recently at like a discount store. And so I knew that I wanted to get the mist too because it smelled so good. Um, it's got notes of night blooming, or notes of blooming jasmine, white birch, cucumber water, and crisp green tea. Goodness, my mouth has stopped working. But it's so good. This smells awesome. Very fresh and clean, very cucumbery. Um, this is something I could see pairing very well with like the Dove cucumber body wash, um, or really anything cucumbery. This is gonna be really awesome for like a hot summer day when you just need to like refresh yourself and feel like you're gonna cool down. Like obviously it's not going to cool you down, but scent wise it's just super refreshing. All right you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. Let me know if you want to see more of these shop with me's now that I finally figured it out but I will see you guys next time. Bye.